Hi, we're growing up without borders. And today we're visiting Wellington, Wellington New Zealand. Zealand. Let's go. We are growing up without borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents and 98 countries. We've been blessed to spend many months here in New Zealand and explored everything from the very top to the very bottom. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. Join us on a tour today of the capital city of New Zealand, Wellington. We're going to show you around the Tipapa Museum, the Wellington Cable Car, the Beehive where the Parliament is, the Wellington Museum, the famous Cuba Street with all its lively cafes, restaurants and bars, Weta Workshop, the Roxy Movie Theatre, a fun time at the Escape Room, a drive around the Miramar Peninsula, and we're even going to show you what it's like to be a nose. And today we're going to start it all off at Zealandia, which is an eco center where you can walk around and they have endangered birds. They're trying to restore their, their ecosystem. Yes. It's located only a 10 to 15 minute drive from Wellington and it's definitely a must see attraction. We'll put a link below of our full tour on it so you can check it out. So right now we are touring a street called Cuba Street and well it gets its name because I guess it has similarities to that. We're going to find out. Cuba Street. Look at this uh, nice little cafe. A retro grove. Look at that. They even have a Fidel's uh, store there in a the distance. So this famous Cuba street basically got its name from a ship that came back in the 1800s here month of January it arrived and it had some of the uh, Europeans and they settled some of the stores here which are still here to this day. Same building, same stores. Pretty cool. This uh, fountain has been here ever since the start of this Cuba Street. Still the original one. Such a smart idea. They put a cafe right inside a store. So I know you've said this probably many times over, but 
this is winter, you guys. Yeah. Their winter is so nice and warm and mild compared to what we're used to, or what we would call winter. It's beautiful. And like, I'm in a dress, well, with pants, and I'm still just hot. Like, it's almost hot enough to go swimming. <laughs> So we met a really nice family, and so after visiting Cuba Street, we went and spent the rest of the afternoon with them. Their son Johnny showed us around the marina, showed us all the different marine life there. We did some break dancing, we had dinner, and just an overall really fun time. So here's some clips. These are called lemmingtons. These are typical kiwi desserts. Yeah. Oh, she's going upside down. Yep. They, um, they've actually got suckers and grippers, so they can go on glass and gravel, they can go on almost anything. Wow. That over there is an aquarium. This is Island Bay. That one of the crab, the one that's covered up and is really yeah, that is a crab. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and this him. guy is a hermit. He's a hermit crab. Yeah. I like that guy. Was it a poisonous one, is it? Yeah, it feels like, it looks like it's poisonous. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm finding so many stuff that is so rare. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Try not to fall into that water, mate. Oh, I'm getting crazy now. I think this was the best place to look. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Johnny, sea really. slug. Yeah, that's a real I'm see this right there, that's a poisonous sea slug it looks like. So if I touched it, that would give me poison. Can I see it up there? What would it do to you? Um well it it has poisonous skin, so if you touch it it's a poisonous sea slug, isn't it? Yeah, they're all poisonous slug. And you this is a really rare experience. This is my first time I've ever ever seen a hermit crab. There go the birds. No, 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 no. No, no. Yes. no don't fire it because oh, it will go through the roof. It won't. It won't go through the roof. It won't go much far. I'll go, I'll fire it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is to celebrate you guys being here. Mm -hmm. Tiana, Johnny, we're sharing. And, oh, um, thank you. Cheers. 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 Another thing you do not want to miss is the Tipapa Museum. It's six levels, free of entrance, and just overall incredible. Here are just a few clips, but if you want to check out our full video, we'll put the link below. So today we are going to go head over to the Wellington Museum and learn some good old history. Kia ora, welcome. So there are three levels and right now there's a special exposition about this cat, that's why there's paws all over. But the price scene was actually free to come in. Who are you reading about? Mittens, this Wellington cat. The famous cat of Wellington. we were in Picton and we actually stayed there at that nice beautiful home and then when we took the ferry out it goes all through these sounds so this is why it's such a beautiful ferry ride this is the Cook Strait so very small distance and then it goes all the way into Wellington yep. So what this is, is you choose the history you want. So it could be a washing machine or a coffee machine and you have to vote which one sounds better. Let me see about which one are you going to vote for? A washing machine. 
There's also a lot of shows to watch, and this is the second one, or third. We've been so lucky and blessed to just have incredible weather our entire stay here in Wellington. Like beautiful blue skies, no winds, just been amazing. So along the walkway here, we found there's this walk. It's called the Author's Walk. And basically it's all authors from New Zealand and you'll see some of their different quotes from some of the writings that they've done all along here. I'll show you a couple of them. All right, so when we did our hike, this is the mountain top that we went on over there in a the distance. And where we flew our drone was up there. Here's another one right here that we found. We found another one. I want to live among people who believe in truth and freedom. I want to discuss ideas. I want books. To me, their buildings remind me of basically like the Maritimes. This one's from 1885. Yes, 1885. All made out of wood. my line, watched it sink, and waited it with exquisite anticipation for the pecking of mullet, the suckling of trebly, or best of all, the sudden pull of kaoi and kingfish. Look at what I found. This is a community piano right here by the water. Shame I don't know how to play you a tune. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice view. Okay, so everybody in Wellington and New Zealand in general talk about these flat white coffees, how they are the best. So I normally drink a cappuccino, but here we go, trying the flat whites, and I'll tell you what I honestly think. Not all coffee's good to be honest, but here we go. It tastes just as good as if you were in Italy. <laughs> Swimming right there. How is that possible? There's the jet though. Oh, we found the shadow, the um, the water fountain, like Geneva. We see that over in the distance. Zoom in on Premier Pro. Right over there. Now, but what I wanted to say is, today feels like a Sunday because everyone's just here along the quay, walking, enjoying the water yeah, and the, the sunshine kids. and kids everywhere. And it's Monday, so this is, this is their Monday, guys. It's just beautiful and. Again, it feels like a summer day in most European countries, so this is awesome. There's a school trip right there having a picnic. Nice. It's summer. Very nice. nice.
Look at that. I think they do tours on that boat over there. So nice. I'm a little curious to know if everyone has lunch breaks like they do in Europe where they get a couple hours off because everyone is down here enjoying lunch and um, just enjoying the waterfront, which is really amazing. So one thing you could do when you come here to downtown Wellington is you could go to the Beehive. That is where they have their parliament offices and all the big decisions are made for the country. And you could book a tour. So you can go online, book a tour. It's free and that's what we're about to go do next. So this building pizza. here is the Supreme Court and Angelique smells pizza. pizza. Mm. <laughs> So the other day we were up at the top and I went to pop up the drone and Tyler goes, oh, there's the beehive. And I was like, well, why did you tell me that? Because I got freaked out because bees are attracted to the drone. And in Sri Lanka, we were on the, the beautiful bridge and we flew the drone and everyone all of a sudden got off the bridge. We were wondering why. And this lady comes, she's like, yeah, somebody popped up a drone and the bees all came out and started attacking everyone and everyone just like had to evacuate off the bridge. It's like, this is awesome, now I'm getting good shots. But I was like, oh shoot, that was me. So when he said, there's the beehive, I thought that's what he was talking about. I'm like envisioning all these bees. He's like, no, like the beehive, like the parliament offices. I'm like, oh. going guys? Yes. So the tour was absolutely amazing. Julia, what did you learn? I well, we were able to see everything and um, see the beehive and all about it. Yeah. Um, Basically we learned all about their parliament, right? Yes. And uh, what was really cool is how they secured their buildings for the earthquakes because Right here in Wellington, they are on basically a major fault line and uh, two titanic plates that are always moving. And so they literally slice the building in half and put these like round uh, isolators that kind of take on the weight. And so the building, if it shakes underneath, then it doesn't shake as much at the top. And we also learned how they pass laws and how it goes through and how many, how all that. We saw all the different rooms, so it was pretty cool. It was really cool. And you can even book in to go and listen to their debates and their question times. So you do it online as well. We did it to see if we can go see it tomorrow. But um, of course you can't film in there, so we don't have any footage, so. One thing I learned that I never knew before is that the queen does not go in a green, in a green room. Yeah, and that dates back from way back when, so. Totally worth it. If you're here, definitely go do the parliament tour. So our next stop is to a place called Pita Pit. It's it's made by two guys from Canada, from Kingston, right? Yeah, so I don't know if they were actually Canadians, but they went to the university yeah. there and they started this uh, Pita franchise, Pita Fit. We're gonna go grab one because it's right around the corner. And um, I was just gonna say, yeah. the guy who invented those plates that hold the buildings and make it absorb the shake, he is a, an engineer here from Wellington and he actually, they use them in San Francisco in different hospitals and, and, and buildings India. in India as well. Pretty cool. Smart man. So that building there kind of looked like it's out of place. Doesn't belong? <laughs> no. No. Yummy. It reminds me back when I was 20 years old eating pita pits in Kingston, Ontario. So good. So back then here in Wellington, they had a really big fault line of an earthquake. It was like 8.4 magnitude, so really strong, something like that. Um, so basically, the re when this happened, it, the water rose up and so did the building. So where we are standing right now used to be covered in water. This used to why, be the waterfront. Yeah, that's why they call it the K. Yeah, it, it literally rose the earth level two meters. Two meters. So this is all kind of refurbished land which was more aesthetically done but it's crazy it was yeah See, the shoreline in 1840 this used to be the shoreline 
1840. Unbelievable. So, okay, guys. So that's why this is called Lambden K because this used to be the water park. Beautiful. Okay, so behind me, over there in a the distance, is this island, and there is a ferry that runs back and forth to it. We're gonna take a drive and go around over to that area there and uh, show you a view from that viewpoint. It's just a gorgeous day for a nice drive as well. The area back there, just so you know, is called Lower Hut. We all live on time we borrow, time our children to us lend. Here today, but gone tomorrow, like a spark fly in the wind. We all look up to our fathers, all our lives is all is right, and we are. So Lower Hut didn't have all that much to offer. We kept going and here we are at this beautiful beach and basically across the way where the sun is setting is, um, I keep wanting to say Queenstown, is Wellington. So it's really pretty. I think this is where the city folk come to get away from the city. And there is the ferry coming in. See those mountains over there in a the distance? That is the South Island of New Zealand. Pretty cool, huh? So right there. Really close. And we just saw the ferry coming in. You still see it over way in a distance. Going into the bay. Right by the sunset. So this is how they do it in New Zealand. These guys who live up there, that's a cable car going up to their house, or what we would call in Europe a funicular. And that's how it's done. Isn't that amazing? So they get a sunset view every night. They do pretty much anything, but I heard they're only like $10,000 to install. So it's like your own private elevator. It's crazy, huh? Well, today is one of those Wellington days. So here in New Zealand, you can do something really cool. Not only can you visit the parliament like we did yesterday, but you can actually go there and listen to the questions and you see, you know, the prime minister. So Jacinda's gonna be there and everything. So we're really excited to go and we just read the instructions and it looks like we have to be wearing more or less, I don't know if it's formal attire, but kind of business smart clothes, which we don't really have winter smart looking dresses and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out what to do, eh, Angelique? Feels like we're going to a gala. <laughs> well, <laughs> Thank goodness that we have places like Salvation Army because the girls went shopping. Like I had bought these nice boots and Julia bought pants that we all fit into and we're making it work. Here's what we look like. day going to the beehive to go learn about their parliament again. 
So that was a, such a cool experience. Yep. Who did we see in there? Just, Just enough. enough. Clothes was so cool. It was so neat. And to see them debating about really interesting topics and such. The questions, and then you have like a thing of where they all sit. Yeah. It's really cool. Really and neat you can experience. See how they talk back and forth. It's really cool. Yes. In Wellington, we didn't do the cable car because it was closed. I think it was under construction. So we're about to go do it right now. And we'll show you what it's all about. It's a cable car. Let's go. Oh, look it. It's even welcoming you in all different languages. Here's the pricing. $9 for adults, kids for Five to fifteen or four fifty, and there's a family pass. Okay. Cool. Like you're going in like, you know, the twilight cycle kind of. It was really cool. Do, 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 Oh, it's nice to be here during the summertime. Yeah. So when you arrive to the top, it looks like there's a little cool cafe up there. And this is where the gardens are. So basically, you know, if you back up in our video, those gardens that we walked through, this is kind of in that same zone. They even have a pharmacy up here. They do. It's like its own little but village. It's because when you come up, there's still homes up here as well, like people living. Yeah. Because it's mountainous, like San Francisco, so there's houses when you go up. Oh, Welcome to the perfumerie. They make perfume here. Cool, eh? Yeah. What a surprise. Built a hundred years ago. Right. Wow. Lovely machines around the yes. An organ. Aha. So it uh, looks like I'm playing a church organ when I do the mixing and the matching. I've got three claviers, I've got notes, I've got accords. Hence the name. Now that's from Indonesia. It doesn't mm. grow in New Zealand, so I cannot destroy that myself. So back when we were in the Netherlands, we went to this amazing perfumery and oh my gosh, the scent that I got there was all, it was kind of like that where it was all homemade. I haven't found one since. So I feel like I'm gonna have to go all the way back to Europe just to get, like to the Netherlands, just to get that one scent. Well, I'd gladly go back to the Netherlands. Me too, I would. Like to Juno. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's go next summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. So this is what Wellington looks like. There's all these, there's all these beautiful homes and always up in a hill like that. It's pretty impressive. Uh, well, basically when you take the cable car up, there's, I don't know, maybe like four different stops. So when you're going through the gardens, you can walk all the way around and then take like a little loop and then it loops back to a different stop and then you just hop on and keep going down. So, but we're gonna go look at the lookout point. Yeah, when we were on the cable car, I kept thinking of Lausanne and Switzerland because it's on like every level like that. It's like a very hilly city. Mm. And it also reminds me of Cape Town, just like when you drive into Wellington. Yeah, Cape Town, Wellington have similarities. And you know, since- Montreux doesn't have, uh, or Lausanne doesn't really have home up, up, up top. Well, Lausanne doesn't Not look like this. as much this. as this. But more their downtown, they have that. You know, what's so funny is that when we were back here, like walking downtown, I was like, "Where's the Sky Tower?" I was like, "I kept thinking we're in Auckland," but I'm like, "Oh right, we're in Wellington, we're the other here. big city." <laughs> so this thing's really cool because it tells the time. So basically, you go to the month and the date. So let's go. 
watch it anywhere every 20 seconds. You stand up, stands up, and there's shows at 4 o'clock. And right now it's like around 4.15, I want to say, so it's spot on. Places at the top. <laughs> that kind of there. shows like the topography yeah. of the whole area. Yeah. We visited Weta workshops where they do all the movie props and so much more for the movie industry and it was so cool that we had to make its own video. So make sure you guys check that one out too. Right now we are going to go check out a really cool cinema called the Roxy Cinema. Apparently it's like very, well, by based on the style, like very old fashioned, very cool retro. Retro. Let's go see the retro Roxy Cinema. Mm, they have a cafe in here. Wow. Oh. Look they have one of these little guys. Cool. Look eh? at this. brings us back to what cinema used to be and it's just like feels like we're stepping back in time the way it all looks. This is such a cool theater with all these beautiful red leather seats and then the screen has this red curtain that goes up and down to give it like just an even better finishing touch to it. The Oscar award for Lord of the Rings. Look at that. How cool is that? So we took a drive from the Miranmar Peninsula where what a workshop is and we're basically following the road just to see and it's amazing because you have city of Wellington and then within seconds you're out here in the nature and there's signs for penguin crossing but this is what we're seeing it's just phenomenal. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands. I met friends on the way, people chosen to make a stand. I felt strong in the sun as I walked on to passers green. So forgiveness together is bases in between. For those of you guys who didn't know already, Wellington is the capital of New Zealand and it's the most southern capital in the world. And a nickname for Wellington is Wellywood. That's why you see the Wellington sign up on the mountain like Hollywood. So next thing we're doing is we're going to Escape Masters, which is an escape room and we're going to be going to a room called Prison Bus. So basically what it is, is you are a prison framed for murder that you didn't commit, so you have to escape off the prison bus. You think we're gonna get out on time? Yes. Here we go. Okay. 
and it looks really fun. I think we're going on a police bus like this into this room. We can't share with you any clues or anything, so maybe at the end we can give you one teeny one. Not sure yet. Are we gonna give them a clue? It looks like a bus in there. Here's your clue. What's the clue gonna be, Oshalik? Okay, what's the clue gonna be? The clue is you're on a bus and you need to escape before you get to prison. Is that a good clue? All right, we'll let you know how we made out. Okay, so we made it out in how many minutes, guys? We had six minutes to spare. Six minutes to spare. We came in second place, and this was set up as hard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which is really cool. And the difference I just found out is like the different levels. If it's easy, they might like pull something out to make it obvious. Whereas like hard, they yeah. don't. And and then you can go into a master level as well. So once you get like really good, but did you guys feel like it was easy or? It was, it was really good. It was good. It was hard very... and easy at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And they have a whole bunch of different rooms. They have one that looks really funny and fun. And it's a circus. And or they the have pirate. A, and they have yeah. a creepy one that's a serial killer that's kind of dark. Uh, mm. no. So you guys up for doing another one again? Yes. yes. This is so cool. So we're down here in Wellington, and look at—they have all the different locations. So we might just have to do another one, maybe when we're in Rotorua. Now, now I want to go back and do another one. We'll have to go up in Auckland or something like that. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching our tour of Wellington, New Zealand. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below where you're watching from. We'll see you next time. Bye.